Okay, we are back. And in this video, we're going to be looking at Trimble Realworks and how to export both the, uh, the polygon elements that we created, as well as the, um, the points, of course. So we're going to display this geometry. And okay, so there we can see those point clouds as well as the, uh, the lines. So let's start, first of all, with our line. So I'm going to just select them in the tree here. And we're going to go to home and we're going to export this selection. And in this case, I'm going to be exporting to a folder for all my different cross sections. So in this case, I'm going to call this roof framing crosscut. And it's already set to DWG. So we're just going to go ahead and save this. And one thing to note on the export is whatever you have selected is what you're exporting. And then you have uh, typically a few other options that you can check. Um, in this case, 2010 AutoCAD is, is fine. Um, just the selected geometries. Um, and we're just doing the home view. And the unit I'm going to leave as US Survey Feet. And uh, there is no cloud here, so don't need that. And um, I'm not going to be exporting um, with any of these settings. I'm just going to export um, as is elevated to the elevation that all these lines are. So I'm going to go ahead and export. So this is going to take, usually takes about, I don't know, two to three minutes. So we'll come back and see what time it is. Okay, so that took about two minutes. And so we've now exported a DWG of the line work. So that's half of it in this case. And the other half is to export those points, starting with our floor, our walls, our roof framing, and our lid. So we're going to be exporting these now through the same process of selecting them, exporting the selection, and in this case I'm creating RCPs. So this is actually level 13, so create a new folder. And I'm going to change my type to a recap file. And so um, we'll go ahead and save this. And this takes definitely a while. So probably on average five six minutes or so. So we'll pause and come back when it's done. All right, so that just finished exporting. It took, I don't know, eight, nine minutes or so. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's go and open up that folder though. Um, so I wanna see the size of this particular project. So we can see our RCP, it's only three kilobytes, kind of just a tiny little file. But our support files here, we can see that 260, uh, megabytes for the uh, roof framing. So that's our biggest. Our floor was pretty heavy also. And then our lid and our walls are actually pretty light. But um, in total, this is yeah probably, I don't know, what is that? 700,000 points, or sorry, uh, megabytes. Well, still thinking in points here. Um, yeah, so under a gig for sure. But you can definitely tell like if we had, had not done the sampling, then that would have been much, much larger, probably three or four gigs um, in total size versus um, probably around 700 megabytes. So um, anyway, hopefully that helps you out and gives you an idea of kind of that range of sampling and, and the difference in file size. Um, yeah, this pretty much concludes this workflow for now. Um, I definitely plan on adding a few more videos just in terms of how to take these models and bring them in of course, into Revit, as well as into Archicad, as well as performing some different overlays with some of those different DWGs we produced. Um, so yeah, check out uh, or look, look for more videos here coming soon on uh, Trimble Realworks. And thank you for watching. Catch you next time.